E1 Series is a new championship, a championship of electric power boats. Electric power boats that we will race all over the world in different areas, in lakes, in rivers, maybe in the sea also in some areas, to uh, transform uh, marine mobility into electric, to decarbonize uh, the water. So, of course, today was a, a, a very important day, day for us, for the project, and for myself as well. I mean, when I started all this project uh, with Alejandro and Sophie, uh, I mean, this was two years ago, almost two, two years ago, and uh, we were all uh, dreaming of this day. So, very important because for the first time the race bird is uh, on water, and uh, it has been performing in a very uh, satisfactory way. We are super pleased. And uh, from now on, there will be a lot to learn and a lot to test. This is the first electric race boat ever built. So I would say that's the most unique part of this. Uh, in terms of the design, look and feel, we're, we're creating a, a completely new championship, a new uh, platform. We're trying to uh, engage the younger audience. So it was super important to, to make something that looked cool, but also gave that wow factor. Uh, I really do believe in the first impression. Well, first of all, as you, as you say, it is a very important step for the championship because we start from the technology. We want to accelerate the electrification in the marine industry and we needed this technology pillar to be uh, ready for it. In the meantime, together with building an exciting sport, we are also building everything that is beyond the racing. And what's beyond racing and what we really care about is how much we can influence and impact positively the water and coastal uh, area conditions. So we are partnering with very strong players and stakeholders in order to come with uh, very exciting proposals on this field. Well, my uh, days in, in Formula One taught me a lot for the simple reason of course, that there is an element of competence, but if I really look back and think about the bigger picture, the competence is the least of what really remains to me from those days. What I really learned by being surrounded by excellent people, uh, I would say are two factors. One is uh, the pursuit of excellence, uh, which is based on continuous improvement. So feeling the right and the duty to always learn and you know, gain tenth of second per day, which will take you to seconds of competitive advantage. So this was very important. On the other side, uh, I also learned the importance of uh, uh, the sport as a, not only a communication marketing platform, but also as an action platform. So to showcase that you can uh, drive and build positive action and you know test these actions within this platform and be at the forefront of the innovation for many other fields which can benefit all the human beings. We're in this situation, we're in this together. Uh, we need to face it and come up with solutions and uh, to embrace that change, I would say. Uh, it, it creates space for new uh, opportunities for people. Uh, and, uh, you know, going back, uh, having the, taking out the boat with my family, uh, seven years old, eight years old in the Swedish summer house, and then taking out the boat, I, I was always with my dad, every summer taking out the boat. Uh, and then you had the beach right next to it. You had families swimming around and even my mom. And then you saw all the oil spill and everything. It was disgusting. And I remember <laughs> I was standing up there and saying to my dad, 
this is not right. And you could actually see sometimes swimming in the oil. Uh, so, so going back to that memory and to sit here today and uh, be a part of the t t a better change in that way, uh, it's a good feeling. I think to, uh, you know, to confront the big problem of uh, CO2 emissions, technology is going to be uh, the, the only way really to succeed. And te technology will, will uh, have to be deployed in many, many different areas. Mobility is only one of them. And within mobility, marine mobility is uh, another one of them uh, within that uh, category, um, if, if we want to say like that. So it's very important to create a technology that can uh, decarbonize marine mobility. And one of them, especially for small boats, for recreational boats, is battery-powered electric boats. This is what we're going to push with the A1 series. I think in order to succeed, in order to change the, the, the minds of the people to, to make them buy electric boats in a way, you need to make the championship exciting, you need to make the championship attractive. Celebrities, of course, is a key one. Uh, I wouldn't know which names, I have so many uh, that I would love to see racing in this championship from big uh, sports figures to uh, you know, movie stars to different people that have the same objective, that have the same values. Uh, but the cities are going to be the key. I would love to see these boats racing in the waters of uh, Venice or in the Hudson River in front of New York, in Manhattan, or in Rio de Janeiro, um, in London, under in the river, in Zurich, in Geneva, for example, um, in Hamburg, there are many places, maybe even in Berlin, there are lakes there that we could race. Uh, many, many cities, Hong Kong, imagine the race there, Sydney Harbor, uh, Dubai, uh, of course, Saudi Arabia and the Red Sea, uh, even the Arctic, why not around the icebergs?